Hello, how you doing today? Welcome to another episode of Ubuntu and Open Source. Today I'm going to talk about elementary OS and using it. And along the way I'm going to discuss why I believe it's a good beginner Linux distro. So let's go to their website first. Elementary OS, the fast, open, and privacy responding replacement for Windows and Mac OS. I'm going to jump over here to the Wikipedia. Elementary OS, based on Ubuntu. The flagship distribution showcases the Pantheon desktop environment. So since we know it's based on Ubuntu, we know we have the Yap Center. And in that App Center, we know we have all these categories of software that we can install. So there's many applications in the elementary OS repositories. So all you have to do is click on a category. Now up here, within their App Center, These are developer applications. And down here are non-curated apps. These are the uh, Ubuntu repositories. Like I, I have a Audacious installed, which is this right here. I could install Audacity, I just got to click on free and it will install it for me. So there's lots, click home, there's lots of applications to install. For Office, we have all these apps, Planner and Notes Up comes pre-installed. So here's Notes Up and here's Planner. Elementary OS has them installed by default from the developers. There are uh, they are actually uh, if we click on them it shows you the de developer here and other apps that the developer has. Click on home and there we're back. So there's many applications for a new user to download and install. Just click on the category and there you go. And we know about Ubuntu. Ubuntu is uh, a pretty stable operating system for most, for just about any and all computer. Um, as soon as you learn to use Docky, <coughs> like let's go to an application here. I'm going to select one from Office and select this one. You right click, add the doc. There it is. You want to remove it from the doc. Click on it. So there's the application. So, th so to remove it, right click, remove from dock. You can drag and drop to add. Let's try that again.
Well, you're supposed to be able to drag and drop, and it will add the application to the dock. So the dock is easily customizable. So you hit control at the same time you press right click. Yeah, and then you have the dock, the plank uh, preferences. You can change the theme. I have a GTK theme going on, so I keep that. You can change the position. Right, left, I'm going to put mine back to bottom, um, I have a dual display going on here, so I can change the uh, primary display for it, you can align it to the Start, end, fill, as you see it fills up the whole screen, or you can just centerize it, put it in the center, change the icon size, this zoom is an add-on. That will come in, in a later video. Elementary OS and Pantheon does not have automatically zoomed icons here. Behavior. You can use an uh, auto hide, intelligent hide. So if I were to close this. Try that again. Okay, intelligent hides for when you have a full screen window, auto hide. There we go. Dodge maximize windows, windows dodge, dodge active windows. I do not like to hide my dock. I like it just to stay there put. Um, show unpinned items, show lock icons, restrict workspaces. So I like the icons over here like you would on a, the popular OS Mac. So all these here are locked and dock. And all these here unpinned ones, they appear as they need to. I'm sorry, these two. Docklets. If you can see, I have the trash can and applications. And that's pretty much the only two I keep up here. So let's talk about more of the desktop parts. This here top, if we go to the website and support and learn the basics, we'll talk about the desktop parts. The application menu, the clock, and calendar, and the, all the indicators. One of the things I learned about using the application menu, which is I found pretty cool, math operations. Two times five, is 10, and there you go. So if you need a quick calculator, you don't even have to open up the app Applicate the calculator application itself. You can just do right in the applications menu, which I find to be very cool and very handy at times.
Now, you, if you want to learn more, there's more about the multitasking windows here. Or hot corners, if you want to set up hot, hot corners. And the application windows themselves. Yeah, multi displays and installing applications and updating system settings. But in general, Elementary OS is a simple and easy to use Linux distro for beginners. So the this is the way the default shows when you um first install elementary OS with the menu. I like it to have on the categories. Or if you want to search for an application. All you gotta do is type in its name. And so it is where you can search by what you need, internet. And now you have a choice of documents that you can create with or view documents with. Or start a new document. So even if you don't know exactly what you want or need or or have, you know you have something, but you need to know you forgot the name of the application or whatever, you can just search for it by your needs. And let's search for one. That I know that may be in the app tuner, but I may not have currently installed. So say if I didn't have any calculator applications here. You see down here, search for calculator in app center. Well, that's all you got to do is click. And now you have a choice. of applications. Now it's going to show you everything in that category or what it thinks it uh, came close. But you can help narrow down what you need and want and then install it. So the application menu is pretty intuitive. So even if you didn't know how to get to your app center, but you knew you needed or wanted an application, that's what you got to do is search for in the apps applications menu. And if it says it will search for it in the uh, app center, that's what you got to do is click on that. So then we come here to the date and time, which is pretty self-explanatory. And so are all these indicators over here. They're all pretty self-explanatory. Volume, network, Bluetooth, power settings, notifications, power button, lock, log out, shut down, suspend, And then we come down to the dock. I've already showed you the dock. The desktop area is something different in the Pantheon desktop environment. You cannot, by default, right click and have it show any icons on the desktop. That's just the way it's created by them.
So there you go. Elementary OS in the desktop environment. Thank you.